Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, from room one, can you explain what you guys did with uh, the task one on deposit? We have Andy, Winnie, Nicholas, and Xie Yang in room one. Uh, we just, I think we just define a method inside the bank account. And then, yeah, self, self, point, self dot balance plus equal amount and then return amount. You'll get the deposit, the deposit one. Okay, all right. Thanks, Ye Yang. It's very simple, very straightforward. Just define a method, an additional method to actually change the value, the attributes in the bank account. All right. Thanks, Ye Yang. Um, hey, hi, Adrian. Welcome back. Um, all right. So let's try. Let's try uh, to actually deposit some money. Okay, uh, we actually have changed this with interest, so I'm just gonna modify it by a bit. Uh, let's try. Yeah, I wanna deposit the new uh, money to buy my new Tesla. In, in case you don't know, like they changed the price to like 69,420. See. If there's any changes. I'm sorry, Aaron. What are we supposed to see right now? Oh, wait. I, oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Um, uh, sorry. Technically, you guys can see the bank account one. Like you guys can actually follow bank account one file. But yeah, my apologies. I was not aware of not sharing my screen. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, I made this edit, so I made the edit here. So let's try to run this. I think it's a bit slow, but it's okay. I'll try to be patient about it. Huh. All right, I forgot to import. Oh, invalid syntax transfer to. Hmm. Ah, okay. We can try to run. Guys, guys, you guys forgot a lot of your columns, ah. Uh. Like you guys forgot a lot of your columns. There are two missing columns already. Okay. Oh, it's a bit slow, but okay. I mean, like the code should work, lah. Like, uh, we'll see the code out, out code's output here once it's done. Okay. Anyways, uh, good job. Um, next up we have room two to explain about task two. Let um, me explain. Uh, I'm the one in task two. Okay, sure. I'm I am two. We just compare the name whether we compare the name because ah uh, whether is it because the person or is the one we draw on. This we just use some sort of check. This was checking for bus. All right. Um, good job. And mm, I think my code is wrong. Uh. I think my code the code is wrong. Yes, it is actually wrong. Um, there's any can anyone like propose a potential change? Self name not equal to name. Yeah, I think there's problem here. Ah, this one also missing a dot as well. Okay, hey, what is it? Uh, wait, 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 I kind of wait. Let's see, does anyone, has anyone done the minimum? 
Wait, 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 guys, guys. Now I forgot how to do init. Okay, I think it's supposed to be this way. Okay. Yes, um, okay, so, okay, okay, so, um, okay, for the one in room one, it's, your code is okay, uh, like it's working. Yeah. Um, you guys also forgot a dot earlier here, so it doesn't run. Okay, for task two, uh, correct. So like it should not be self.name equals to self.name. It should be just like self.name equals to name. And what you kind of want to do is also add the name here as the required, requ sorry, the requirement. So there's name and then the function value. Oh. Yes, correct. So read the question. So I'm gonna uh, copy this over here. I'll go to main pie. I'll try your code now. Okay, it's running, but yeah, it's a bit long. But it should be okay, lah, basically. So, uh, yeah, basically it needs to check that, uh, is it you or not, okay? Okay, it's still at one, okay. It's a bit slow though. Anyways, um, we'll just move on. Thanks, thanks a lot, uh, room two. Um, okay, anyone in room three? Want to explain for touch? Ah, okay, it's working. Okay, it's already working. So in, yeah, it's a bit. I guess it's very slow, but yeah, I guess this works. You just do a check, make sure that the variable name is correct, whether it's an the your own attribute which is indicated by self dot name or it's the param the function parameters which is just like without the self dot. Okay. Thanks, room two. Uh, room three, anyone want to explain for um, task three? One year has passed. Ivan, Jacob, Leecher, and Eugene. Room three. Jacob. Hi guys. Anyone? Please. <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> um Anyone in room three, please? Eugene, would you like to exp Can you help me in explaining your code? Last three years on, one year has passed. Okay. Um, Okay, maybe anyone would like to tell me like um, what are they doing in one year has passed and whether it's correct or not. Maybe for the rest can just type it in the Zoom chat. Shouldn't include interest. Um, yeah, so um, if we actually try to see the method here, right? Um, one year has passed actually does not take in any parameters. So we should not have included any parameters here, actually. So we don't include the parameters. And also like there's something that we need to change is that add an attribute for interest rate and initialize it at the constructor. So we kind of need to include it early on here. 
And that we want to store the interest rate somewhere. Okay, nice. So then uh, after that, so basically since the self in it, the interest is already initiated early on, what we want to do is actually get that uh, interest rate from self. So we add self. Okay. Let us see whether the code works or not. Okay, it's very slow. Okay, anyways, but yeah, most likely it's that. Lah. So just try to make sure that you read the assignment, the question well, that, okay, this one does not take in any parameters. So it should not take in any parameters. And we should initialize interest rate in a constructor. So just make sure you include it in the beginning. Oh, okay, withdraw, got problem. Okay, it's the old withdraw here. So let's just copy it. It's a bit slow, but you guys got the gist of it, I think. Okay. Yeah. I think what we can do is uh we can try. Uh my ACC dot one year has passed. And check my ACC show balance. Yes, it uh, accrue interest rate. If you repeat the process, oops. Oh, okay. It will uh, add more interest, basically. Okay, but yeah, the sometimes there's a flotation point error, but. We should not be worried about it. All right. Lastly, it's actually a quite a big chunk. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, room four. You guys are not done yet, is it? Okay. Um, let's see if anyone has done uh, task four. Uh, okay, uh, room one, would you like to explain? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, you guys did a lot, actually. Um, do you have anyone? No, only you guys actually did uh, room uh, minimal balance and actually the further challenges. Okay, so uh, room one, would you like to explain maybe someone else aside from Xie Yang? Um, okay, but we kind of yolo the extra questions, so... So okay, just start with the mini ba minimal balance first. What you guys did with minimal, minimal balance. balance? They want us to call it a class, so we did that, and then we just borrow some of the stuff from bank bank account. Mm -hmm. And then, however, the one year has passed. Uh, module eh? function or oh, attributes? No, I don't know. Basically, the one year has passed. You you want to use it. Uh, it's different from the bank account one, so we redefine it, and then, uh, and then that's it, lor. Okay. We okay, redefine okay. it to fit the criteria that they set for us. All right. Uh, good job. Uh, basically, what we wanna do is um, we wanna uh, deduct the balance by twenty. If it's under 1,000, we deduct it because like you are too poor. Uh, we kind of need more money from you, you know, like poor get poor, rich get rich. And then like you multiply, then you multiply by self-interest rate. And if it's zero, then it's zero. 
Okay, just make sure that the ordering is not uh, mixed up because there's an actual specific ordering here. Uh, the fee will be deducted before the calculation of interest. All right. Thanks a lot, uh, Andy. Uh, okay, maybe the rest, maybe you guys want to explain a bit about your the, your attempts in further challenge. It's okay if it doesn't work, just but try to explain what happens in the further challenge here. Like you guys actually did uh, transfer to set up gyro and a new joint account. I think I'm just gonna collapse this. Okay, uh, we have set up gyro, uh, transfer to and join account. Uh, perhaps anyone, uh, Winnie and Nicholas, would you like to explain? Uh, okay, anyone from room one, would you like to explain, like, let's start with the easy one first. Uh, let's start with uh, transfer to, let's just start with this one first. Anyone? Uh, basically, we just include uh, self account and then amount. Okay. ACC is the account that we want to transfer to and then we just put acc.deposit amount. Basically, we just... This center means that we increase the deposit value of the, yeah, to the respective account. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, thanks, Elian. Actually, I think we forgot to uh, deduct the money of the account after transfer. Should we deduct? I think we should, right? Well, if you transfer money, if you pay la money to your friend, uh, do you still keep the money? No, so we, we forgot about that. Yeah, we forgot about that. Sure, go type it out. You guys have access, right? Go type it out. Okay. All right. Uh, while you guys fix transfer to, uh, maybe someone do, uh, someone can explain setup gyro. Nice. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Anyone wanna explain setup gyro? Uh, for the gyro one, we create a new attribute to store a value. So uh, we store the amount of money that's required to uh, to deduct from the gyro yearly. Mm -hmm. And then in the one year has passed module, uh, for the function, one year has passed, we, we uh, how do I put it? We check how much money need to be deducted every year. And if there is amount of money that needs to be deducted, then we deduct. And then we uh, add the interest in after that. All right. Okay. Good, good. So that there are, um, the question is pretty um, uh, imp implicit, like, you know, just create a um, setup gyro in class bank account. But then there are several implicit requirements here. Like you kind of need to have your a new uh, attribute set uh, self.gyro that you equate to zero. You kind of need to modify your one year has passed. So these are the kinds of questions that might appear during practicals where the question itself is pretty straightforward, but there are implicit things that you need to do in other functions as well. All right, lastly, maybe your joint account. I think that's wrong. Yeah. Uh, but the main idea is to equate name one and name two. 
Two, the main idea is here. I mean, this the this line is already correct. Like when you do inheritance, you want to keep the value, but then like you want to add more values, right? So perhaps self name one, self dot name two is equal to name one and name two. And perhaps what you want to modify now is you want to uh, modify withdraw. So I'm just going to copy this. Sorry, uh, I cannot store it as a tuple and then and then check whether it's the name inside the tuple. It is possible. It is actually possible. But if you want to store it as a tuple, right, then uh, like, you kind of need to write it this way, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay, but okay, why? Okay, here's why I say you should not store it as a tuple. Because when you try to edit in bank account, right, and suddenly you need a function that needs the attribute self.name and takes self.name as a string instead of tuple, then you kind of can get into trouble. So generally, when we have defined an attribute, we want to keep the, uh, the variable type the same. I know you. I know in Python it's quite flexible. It's not like C or Java where you kind of need to def define the type of variable, the type type of data type for each variable. But then ideally you want to keep the data type for the variable is the same lah. So self dot name. Ideally what you want is to keep it as string. So instead to store these two names, you want to store it in a different. Either you just create a new variable where it stores the tuple, or perhaps just create two new variables to store two names instead. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay, so that's all about the further challenge. Okay, so that, that's the end of part one. Again, this is a old piece about programming style. There's not much to teach. It's just like you guys need to learn how to actually write in OP through this exercise. That's why I just break you guys into breakout rooms and I don't do much explaining. So oh, are there sorry. any... Oh, sorry, yeah. can you uh, go through the part whereby you change the, the joint account to like each individual variable and then... No, you can't. Okay, okay. So um, what I would do is actually I'll just create a new two variable. You, you can... This is the first method. Lah. You can also do tuples. But this is what I would do. I would define two new variables and then I would overwrite the uh, withdraw function from that is from bank account I will with, uh, overwrite that with my own if name equals to self dot name one or or name equals to self dot name two this is what I would do Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. Your implementation is okay. I see your implementation. That's perfectly fine. It's just that it's a bit risky if we actually deal with, if one one variable can actually have two, da two possible data types. It's a bit risky. So generally what we want to do is just try to keep it one data type. Mm. Okay, are there any questions before we move on to the next part on part two? Okay, then if there's no problem, then I'll just... Uh, Move on to the next. Uh, oh, see, I got. I see question. Why well, got red curly lines? Uh. Oh yeah, I guess it's undefined. So maybe we want to do this. You know, in this case, right? For like joint account, right? You just know that self dot name is uh self dot name is just gonna be a variable that we don't really use anymore in joint account. Thanks for pointing it out, Nicholas. Okay, if there are no more questions, we'll move on to part two, okay? All right, I see all the thumbs up. 
Okay, if everyone's okay with moving to part two, I'll just move on. Okay, so uh, on part two, we'll be talking about fee equals. Uh, there are two questions. And two questions is regarding the design principle of how we actually organize our vehicles. So it's less on the code, but more on the design principles. So we recap from lecture that um, we recap from lectures that these are the way. This is the way we design our uh, family tree for vehicles. So we have parent class vehicle and cannon, <coughs> sports car, lorry. And tanks are both like the inherit from vehicle. Tank also inherit in the same time with cannon. And the Bisarka inherits from lorry, which uh, uh, indirectly inherits from vehicle as well. Now, let, uh, we want to make it more realistic where vehicles actually needs petrol, right? It does, uh, we still don't have a Tesla yet. It doesn't run on electricity. Um, it does not magically fly or run. It still needs a fuel. So we kind of need a new method, add petrol N, which will add N liters of petrol into the vehicle. And for every move, the vehicle will use one liter of the petrol. So the question is, how should we modify our OP structure? What attributes do I need to add and where should I add it? What methods should I add and where should I add it? Okay, so this is our structure earlier. Maybe uh, type it in a chat, like what are the changes that I need to do to actually implement at uh, the petrol feature in a vehicle? Type it in the Zoom chat. Okay, so um, yeah, we can change the methods of vehicle, but what should we? Okay, so we're gonna add uh, that methods of uh, fee in vehicle. So um, anything else? Anything else that I need to do? Hello, vehicle deduct petrol when moving. Okay, so how do we deduct? How do we actually say that? Oh, we want to deduct. What are the changes that we need to make? We kind of need to modify move, right? Okay, we're going to modify move. Okay, are there, is there anything else that we need to do when we want to add petrol? Where are we going to store our petrol? All right, good. But like the question is like, all right, is the attribute of the vehicle. So we're gonna add petrol here as an attribute so that when I do add petrol, it will add N to petrol. And when I move, I'll deduct one from petrol, okay? So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we add the attribute petrol to a list of attributes. We modify move and we're gonna add petrol. So, if you can see, uh, this is what we do. Um, 
let me highlight the changes. Uh, so we add self.patrol here. We add add patrol. And now uh, when we move, we do check first whether uh, we have enough patrol or not to move. These are the changes that we make. Okay. So it's very simple. It's very simple, right? When we're thinking like, oh yeah, we can just simply add patrol. But then like, uh, comes in the next question, like, how about how about say we have a tank that can survive on solar power? Say we're in twenty fifty and tanks can just like harness the energy of the sun from the solar panel on top of a tank, and does not need a petrol tank in a tank. Okay, that's weird. So how are you gonna design it? How are you going to make changes to our design? This is our initial, our design earlier. Right? How are you going to make changes? Any ideas? Zoom chat. Okay, define a new class. What class do we should we define? Add attributes, solar power. So, okay, there's a proposal. So like a vehicle can either have a petrol, petrol tank or solar power. Okay, that's one idea. Uh, any other ideas? Any other ideas? So, Rachel, you mentioned like solar. What do you mean by solar? If detect sunlight petrol, sunlight petrol doesn't deduct else. But then, but then, like in this case, the tank does not run on solar. The tank is just a solar tank. So in this case, I have a box. This one is just solar tank. Uh, there's no petrol at all. If tank is solar, move regardless. So the tank has a uh, like. So we are gonna have like is solar, true something like that. Here is like is solar false, and then perhaps like here, a uh, modify move. Okay, so these are all valid arguments, okay? Like, um, there's no wrong answer here. You guys can actually add, so, so like a vehicle can have both petrol and solar power, which I would argue in real life that won't happen because like if a tank is run purely on solar, it won't have a petrol tank. Mm, it can modify move. Yeah that we could modify move and etc. So there's actually a lot of ways to modify. So I'm gonna show you one solution that the prof provided. Uh, the, the solution that they provided is like, actually like we should separate the current petrol vehicle into two different subclasses. One is a super class vehicle and the other is a subclass petrol vehicle. And then the solar tank will be a subclass of both vehicle and cannon. So it's gonna look like this, right? It's quite amazing. Um, so yes, we could we can actually split it this way. Petrol, so like under vehicle, there's a group of solar petrol vehicles and non-petrol vehicles. And split it this way. And 
Yeah, but then like that, there's problem lah. Like say, what if we also want to implement solar battle battle pisarka? So, should you like re-implement solar pisarka first or what? For your for for the records, solar battle pisarka means like it um it is solar. It uh inherits from pisarka. And it also inherits from canon. So it really inherits from a lot of things. But then we don't want the petrol feature. Right? Imagine dying because of no sun. So what's the answer to this is that it's it's not really about the answer, but it's about like this question is about to show you the design issues that uh, people face when they are designing an OOP structure. So if every class could be nice classified nicely, right, the world would be very, very beautiful. Every subclass is a subset of its superclass. Every subclass in the same level distinct. So like everything is separated easily. But then like, it's not that easy, right? Like, for example, is this platypus, okay? Where would you fit platypus into the classification? Platypus has a venom like reptiles. It lays eggs like a bird. And it gives milk. It lactates like a mammal. If you the definition of each classification is based on these features, then like platypus is all in all three different features, which doesn't really make sense. Right. So those are the problems with uh, designing OP. So that's why when we are designing OP, right, remember my message on like preparing for PE where you guys need to actually write on paper first before coding. It's more important on OP because OP, right? You kind of need to plan far on how you are going to use your code. If you cannot plan far, if you cannot see far on what you guys are going to do with your code, then it's going to be very problematic and cause into these troubles. And it's just going to be a very messy code. Okay. So um, before I end this class, I want to, before I end this class and uh, ask questions. I want to share share with you guys this feed, this nice video by Bosch. Um, so this is a nice video. It's around seven minutes long. Uh, I'm just gonna play this until the rest of class, so you guys have a good idea of. Um, the pr principles or pillars in OP that you guys need to take note of.